the beer idiots in Prague. In Prague. Yesterday we were at the Strahov Monastery on top of the hill. It's the brewery across the river, uh, St. Norbert, uh, a monastery that was in 1142. Now, today we're at Ukunstatu, one of the craft beer uh, bars in, in Prague, center. in the center in the old town. Really lovely place. A little farther away, a five to eight euro ta taxi ride is the, sorry, I gotta turn down the prompter. Uh, uh, 32 taps of variety is uh, Beer Geeks, the Beer Geek Bar, which is owned by Siberia, by the way. Yeah, yeah. But they only have five Siberia, and the rest of the taps are amazing. You can spend all night there. They open till uh, 2 o'clock in the morning, and we have closed the place down twice. Yes, we're in the Czech Republic flag, a country that's home to Pilsner Ukel. And uh, the world's uh, build as, hold on, hold on, hold on, we got to slow this down. Uh, we, just, yeah. we just got a new teleprompter so we can get our facts right. Yeah. Facts are facts. important. <laughs> Jesus. That's what we're about. <laughs> so, Prague, a country that's home to the Pilsner Ukwell and Pilsen, which is billed as making the world's first pale lager with size hops. We are here in Prague for the Brewers Forum, which uh, brings together brewers, suppliers from all over the uh, all over Europe, and among the stars of the beer world as speakers. And the panels are a good contingent of Belgian-based experts. A lot, a lot of Belgian. A lot, based it's amazing, yeah. yeah, yeah. Basically, Belgium is coming to Prague here. Uh, this uh, yeah. Um, in addition to representatives from the Brewers of Europe, this is the organization that's based in Brussels. We've interviewed uh, Pierre-Oliver Bergeron, who's the Secretary General. He'll be speaking. In addition, there is uh, Kristen Magul, the Director of the Belgian Brewers. Yeah. Uh, there is uh, there is uh, uh, Afel Amberger, global brand manager of Swinkles Family Brewers. She'll be on a panel talking about beer competitions. And Dieter, tell us about that. Yeah, for the beer competitions um, on the Brewers Forum, we have, of course, Luc de Rademacher from uh, Brussels Beer Challenge and all the other uh, beer challenges he organized with his uh, company. We have Bas Wellen from Westmalle, the commercial director of Westmalle, actually. And we have Amandine, Amandine uh, what was her name? Geran. Geran, yeah, from, from Brasserie du Pays Flamande. And in addition, we have Yvan de Bates, uh, Bates, head brewer and co-owner and co-founder of, of course, one of our yeah. favorite breweries that makes amazing beer, Brasserie de la Seine. Yes, yes. We have Edwin de, Donc de Donker, the general manager of Brasserie St. Julian. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, Geert de Roek from the KU Leuven. He's a professor and he's going to talk uh, about the importance of water in uh, the whole beer process. Uh, and you're very careful in pronouncing his name because there's a little joke, is there or not? Yeah, no. <laughs> I prefer <laughs> to pronounce in, uh, in Dutch. <laughs> In my native language. <laughs> then we have Oliver Dutoit, the co-founder, co-manager of, ba well, we already said his name. Uh, Paul Lefebvre from Brasserie de Lefebvre. Yeah. We have. Yeah, of course, uh, Jan Lichota. Um, our One of our favorite our guys, of beer our lawyer. Yeah. Yeah. We, our, we interviewed him basically first in La Source years yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah, like when La Source opened, yeah, we met yeah. him. And he was there and was like, I'm a beer lawyer. And we were like, you're a beer lawyer? Can we interview you? <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah. What the hell is a beer lawyer? <laughs> yeah, he lives with his family in Brussels. Uh, he's a family man. He comes natively from Poland. And he's going to talk also, of course, of the, of the Brewers Forum here in Prague. OK, very cool. We have Kara Sargentson, who's the people's director of AB and Bev. I don't know if she's based in uh, Belgium, but AB and Bev certainly it's is. It's <laughs> quite, yeah. yeah. So kind of the topics range, uh, it's an interesting range of topics. There'll be uh, speakers from all over the world, including the head of the Brewers Association in the US. And the topics range from craft, what is it, uh, kind of, and its meaning. Uh, there'll be a uh, talk on the UNESCO and the importance of registering beer culture side of UNESCO, uh -huh. which is very important for us because we also host Belgian Beer Week, Belgian which beer is week. about celebrating 
Belgian beer culture and it's Belgian beer week so we distinguish it from other festivals of a similar name and uh, we're all about promoting it so uh, a lot of the talks will be about educating consumers about beer styles a very big topic is uh, non-alcoholic uh, beers and convincing yeah. consumers that uh, it can actually taste good yeah. this has been a topic uh, even back when we covered our first uh, brewers forum in Antwerp uh, there's also, of course, updating blockchain. Is it a marketing tool for brewers? And uh, Dieter, what is blockchain? Yeah, it's basically a, a good technology. And I assume that in this talk they're going to do the supply chain issues yes. um, and certification. Um, how to track that instead of in a traditional database, a SQL and SQL database. You're going to track that on blockchain so you don't have any chance or less chance of corruption in the supply chain. So you see blockchain is used in a lot of uh, MVPs already for supply chain tracking. So I assume they're going to talk about brewing supply chain and quality tracking, how to put that on the blockchain. But You're going to cover that then. Yes. You sound like an expert. Then of course we're going to talk about the impact of climate change on raw ingredients, water quality, which we already talked about. And tonight, uh, really, it kicks off tonight, at least the networking part. There's a reception tonight, at, uh, opening reception at Staro Pram and Brewery. That's mm -hmm. going to be quite exciting. Uh, we're going to meet lots of great friends. The beer units over the next two days, Monday and Tuesday, will be covering the talks and the debates. And after which, Dieter heads to Budapest. What are you yes. going to do in Budapest? Uh, Budapest. It's the Budapest Craft Beer Week. And that's from uh, Wednesday until Sunday with a lot of events uh, that are doing uh, going on in that city. But the festival is Friday and Saturday. And I'm going to be at the festival, promote Belgian Beer Week there for the brewers. And during the days before, I'm going to be in Budapest networking a bit, going to the bars. Um, and then and I'll be at work. Bit. Yeah, you'll <laughs> be at work. And but here we are. And follow us, because we'll be covering the events uh, and telling you all about what's going on, so you won't miss a thing. Here's to you, and talk to you tomorrow, and we'll show some shots from tonight. Ah, empty glass, man. Fill yeah. that up. <laughs> Fill that up. A word from the sponsor. <laughs>